You are one failure away from your dream life. When I first started my fitness business journey, I launched my first location, and uh, within a few months, I had a failure of mindset. And to back the story up, you know, I had went through my trans physical transformation years before. I got my certified personal trainer accreditation, and uh, I did all the research and diligence that I needed to lock arms with Fit Body Bootcamp and to make sure that I was funded, had everything in place to launch this business. And uh, I did. I did, you know, many things right. But when I launched the business, I, there were some errors involved as well. I did not take the specific coaching action from a marketing perspective that I needed to do to the full entirety to get the volume of leads and the volume of trials and clients in the very beginning. I also launched my business in the beginning of November, uh, which is right before Thanksgiving and then the holiday season. In the fitness industry, not the best time to open a fitness and fat loss gym. Uh, but there I went, I launched the business. And because of that, I was excited, I was motivated, I was enthusiastic, but as the weeks rolled on, the marketing, the leads were not coming in. And also too, from a personal growth perspective, I didn't have the confidence and you know the know-how and the business acumen to realize that I was gonna weather the storm, I was gonna get clients in the other side the new year is going to build out my program and everything was not only going to be okay but i was going to dominate i didn't have that mindset yet so as the weeks went on and as thanksgiving passed and as the holidays approached i realized like clients were not coming in and i was running out of money and uh, it was a very stressful situation but i thought to myself you know what? i'm gonna get to the other side of new year's there's gonna be a monster a monsoon of clients that are gonna be at my door come the first of january and guess what crickets well, as it turns out in the fitness industry, especially in the group coaching industry, it's not until the end of January. In February and March are your busiest months for sure. So there I was in a freak out, panic, 911 emergency mode. Now, I'd already connected with my franchise business coach. He had walked me through a lot of the process. I took action on some of the things, but as I just articulated, there was a lot of things I did not take action on. And there I was pleading, hey, Fernando, this is not going to work out. I'm ma massively in debt right now. Uh, I don't see this being a successful venture. Can you help me? I don't know what to do. Like a good coach, he took a dip, deep breath and reached out to me. He said, hey, let's sit down on a coaching call and let's talk through what you've done. Let's reverse engineer the process. And I'll never forget that Saturday morning, the second week of January in 2013, a few short months after opening my own, my first location. And I sat down with Fernando. Fernando. Now, Bedros, the founder of our franchise, was also with him uh, in that particular coaching session. And I took some hard feedback over the three hours. I heard some things I did not want to hear but I also gained the clarity and the confidence that, okay, I'm in a, in a really bad situation right now, but if I take action, then things are gonna be better. And I'm happy to report after taking massive action within 60 days, that monsoon of clients started to come in. And as they say, the rest is history. Uh, 13 years later from this point, scaling five locations, becoming the CEO of an inter international fitness brand, I would like to think it all worked out. From overcoming that challenge, overcoming that mental failure, which then led me to massive success.